Will do. Okay, that's the first one down. Okay, uh, apparently their escort didn't really like that too much. Just don't run to me. Freaking toasters. Fr or fracking toasters. Uh, that's a heavy raider there destroy it it's getting really really close no time oh that's a that's a raptor sorry do we have more we still have more okay I'll engage these guys the orange, uh, orange squ uh, squadron can take care of the big guy. Uh, the small guys. I'll take care of the big guys. Okay, there we go. That's those two. Still have more. Okay, uh, is that it? All heavy have there we go. And all, our whole integrity is still okay. We are actually doing quite fine. That's good to hear. Theseus, how long until FTL is back online? Systems are nearly online. Two minutes. Prepare for combat landing. Apparently we have more. Intercept and destroy. Just hold them off a little longer, pilots. Uh, understood. Let's go in. There we go. Nice shot. Thank you very much. This guy is drawing all the flak in here. That's not good for me. I'll make. Uh, I'll put some distance between us so that they can get flagged a little. Okay, that's a wing. So I think we have more than one there. Okay, I'll go this way. Crap. Okay, they are engaging me. And it doesn't really help that I'm getting flagged. I think I got them off my tail somehow. I don't re I don't really know what I did. Oh, okay, that's the closest wing then. Let's sort of stay out of this. And let's go after them after the flag has sort of cleared up. Okay, I think we're good now. That guy is going to die. Yeah. Awesome, let's get out of here as soon as possible. Detecting two new trainers contacts. Cylon base ships. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. All pilots. Oh, by the way, we also have these, but I'm not really using these. We're getting the hell out of here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Okay, that's 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 going to be my bay. So let's turn off the engines and let's head in manually. We're only going to apply enough thrust to get ourselves into the bay. And let's slow down. There we go. We are now inside. I have grave news. The Cylons look like us now. A Cylon agent detonated an explosive device near our fuel lines. We nearly lost the Theseus, but the damage was contained. The Cylon agent was jamming wireless communications and transmitting our position to their fleet and signaled for the boarding action. This machine was neutralized. Our recalled recon flights have confirmed devastation on PyCon and Tauron. PyCon fleet headquarters were destroyed in the initial attacks. We have received messages that surviving colonial assets are currently being marshaled in orbit of Virgon. Our top priorities are to replenish Artillium reserves and establish contact with the fleet. We do not have enough fuel to jump to Virgon and we will be unable to maintain combat operations with our current supply. Okay, things are getting quite dangerous then. The situation is definitely not good. The Theseus was sabotaged by a Cylon agent. Our fuel lines were damaged, and artillium reserves are dangerously low. There is barely enough fuel to maintain combat operations, and only enough for one or two short-range jumps. It is only a matter of time before the Cylons find us, and when they do, we won't be able to run. Recon Raptor flights have been launched to establish contact with fleet or civilian assets. As of this moment, we have been unable to establish contact with surviving fleet assets in orbit of Virgon. All orbital refineries have been destroyed. Our homeworlds are under attack. We have reports of nuclear detonations on PyCon, with casualties in the billions. Wireless traffic is flooded with distress signals. Although as far as we know, there are no organized evacuation efforts, a number of civilian ships fleeing Aralon are under Cylon attack. We've received a distress signal from the Indart, a short-distance cargo transport which is part of a convoy now escorted by a Bolotho-class frigate, the Sebasius. Red Squadron is to investigate and secure the area. You are to protect FTL-capable civilians and the Sebasius until they can jump to safety with the fleet at Virgon. You are to escort ships lacking jump drives to the Theseus. Once your wing returns, we will transport the civilians aboard the Theseus. At present, the Theseus does not have enough fuel to make the jump to Virgon. We will rendezvous with the fleet as soon as we have secured Atilium supply. That is all. Good hunting, pilots. Okay, let's go save the civvies. Okay, I still have something on Madaratus. It's a little bit uh, uncertain though. Flickering like hell. Oh, there we go. A uh, contact. Okay, let's go in. The Cylons are breaking off and on an intercept course with us. 
Okay, in that case there are probably no civvies here. But they were probably looking for them. Uh, let's set things up so that I have enough firepower. Okay. We can also give orders to these guys if we want to. We are technically the, uh, the squadron leader. Okay, that's the closest one. Let's blow these guys up. But usually I don't really give orders unless necessary. But soon I will probably give some orders. I'll show that. Uh, I'll show how that works. Let's save the the missiles for now. Uh, I think I saw that. Did you see that? Not sure if that was my kill, by the way. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, we still have more. Let's go, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to use any of these missiles for now. Who knows when you might need them? Ah, let's let's fire one. Oh, yeah, that's exactly why you don't shoot missiles. Someone's breaking off their attack. Don't let them escape or look at your position. Okay, let's let's blow these guys up. Uh, this guy really wants to. <laughs> Whoa. I guess we're doing some really. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's let's actually. Oh, they are. They got away. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Okay, guys, from up. I'm picking up multiple colonial transponders and a live wireless channel from the frigate. Oh, look at that. Civilians doing the same thing. Problem is that most of these ships don't have fuel for the FTL drives. The Indart said she was a short haul Tilium tanker. We were thinking of using them to. We received the Indart's distress signal. Our ship, the Battlestar Theseus, is in critical need of Tilium. Battlestar? The Indart doesn't have an FTL drive, so you'll need to bring your ship here. But base ships jumping it's over. You'll be taking one hell of a risk. You're bringing your systems back online now. Spazius, we are out of options. We lost most of our fuel reserves during a Cylon attack, and we cannot make the rendezvous with Vergon without additional fuel. If this doesn't work, it's going to be a one-way trip for us. I don't think we have much of a choice. This is Red 2 to Theseus. We have established contact with the Indart, and she has Tilium. We have neutralized the Cylon recon wing, but more might appear at any moment. Affirmative, Red 2. Recalling our captain, beginning jump prep. Civilians are starting to bring their systems online again. Some of them don't like the idea of leaving their ships. They want to be refueled first. If the Cylons are on their way, there won't be enough time to refuel more than one ship. We're preparing shuttles for evacuation right now. We'll pass that along, PCs. Trainers contact multiple ships. They're too large to be raiders, but too small to be base ships. <laughs> We're picking up colonial transponders. You're more serious. Hello. Golden Eagle, this is the Sebasius. It's good to see more survivors. Please approach and enter escort formation. The Cylons were here not too long ago. We don't know when they plan on coming back. We... we found someone. We've been jumping all over the system, looking for anyone else to arrive. You'll be safe to now here. A battle star is on our way as we speak. Red Wing, do you mind escorting them to us? Certainly. Okay, let's uh, let's send all of these guys to yes, protect sir, the on. Golden Eagle. Okay.
Yeah, let's blow this guys up. Oh, shut up. I'm doing just fine. These guys are heavy raiders. Oh, they they decided to jump. Okay, well that's okay. Well, we're actually doing quite fine. Okay, they should be all handled. Okay, radius is clear. So these guys are quite soon in formation. Okay, Theseus is here. Oh. Um. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know that space did that. Um. Oops. <laughs> I promise I'm not a Cylon. By the way, that 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 was um, complete and like it was entirely accidental. I meant to actually like match the speed, but I accidentally ended up shooting with missiles. Oops. Okay, uh, let's try to avoid that in the f future. Luckily, it only did minor damage. Yeah, the CVs probably aren't too happy about that, so, uh, though, so, let's... I can't believe it. Flesh and blood toasters. I don't think that the Cylons really look like us. They're doing this to people, probably have been for years. Ripping the brains out of men and women, plugging in microchips, and turning them on us. Hell, that makes more sense. No one would willingly turn on their own, right? Yeah, I don't really know, but uh, we have new new wings in the air, so let's actually head into the flight pod. Let's slow down first because we don't want to crash this thing. There we go. The Theseus is commencing fueling operations. It will be a few hours before we are at full capacity, but we will have enough supplies to reach Virgon and maintain combat operations within 30 minutes. We are recalling all recon wings to the Theseus. Cylon forces have not yet detected us through the debris field. But base ships are massing in low Aralon orbit. Based on reports from PyCon and Caprica, it appears that they are preparing to bombard the planet from orbit. One of our Raptor flights has established contact with the fleet at Virgon. Over 90% of the fleet was annihilated in the initial attacks, but there is hope of mounting a counterattack from Virgon. While we might be watching Aralon burn as we refuel, never forget that we still have a chance to protect some of our homes. Excellent work protecting the civilians, but don't let your guard down. Remember that more Cylons will come once they realize our location. We need you back out there, pilot. Report to the briefing room in five minutes. I will do that, but I think I'll end it there for now. Yes, I'm going to accept this outcome. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good 
place to end it will naturally continue from here. But uh, for now, thank you for watching and we will see in future videos.